Sorry, um, something messed up with the video, uh, with that last one. I've totally given up on structuring these videos in any way. I'm just going to post these unedited. Um, I spent about five, the point is I spent about five hours um, making a post, basically debunking the premise, which is that Biden's trying to do a good thing in Syria. This is part of the broader policy aimed at um, world domination that, that, that sounds like overblown, it's nothing less than that. They're trying to degrade the Russia, China, not, not because they're good. I'm not saying that in this in this statement. I'm just saying they're world powers. They're trying to destabilize all of them and all of their partners in the region. They're trying to achieve world domination. If, if you don't understand that by now, you, you, you're you not paying attention. The Post. U.S.-backed jihadist groups killed 68 children in Aleppo, Syria, just three years ago. The U.S. doesn't care about killing fascists. It supports them. The Biden admin airstrikes are purely cynical moves on a geopolitical chessboard. From her post, if you're mad about me being okay with fascist militias dying, you're a bad person. I don't care what you think. Um, holy shit. That's not bad. It's still it's still not good. I, I still don't give a fuck. It's it's still not gonna get enough nearly enough fucking attention. But I guess this is a good sign. Um yeah, my point was gonna be I got fourteen fucking likes for that I got fourteen likes for that dumb BS. <laughs> um uh and I, I I got like five likes, but I did get two retweets though. All the quote tweets are my own though. So I guess I got five likes and two re retweets. But that's five hours of my life. And this is extremely thorough. I used several articles to establish the timeline. In 2017, these attacks occurred during an, yeah, during a what? Yeah, during an evacuation, an agreed upon evacuation. The evacuation brokered by government ally Iran and rebel backer Qatar is said to see more than 30,000 people evacuated over 60 days. This was when uh, the attack occurred, a large blast that had killed at least 126 people, including 68 children, and an attack near buses carrying Syrians evacuated from two besieged government-held towns, according to a monitoring group. And it was rebel besieged, and these rebel groups are, are funded by the U.S. as we, <clears throat> sorry, as I established later. Uh, uh, <laughs> what is this tweet? Yeah, um, international international business times. Um, four years later, the Free Syrian Army has collapsed. Two years prior to the Aleppo bombings is when this occurred in 2015. This article was published. The moderate movement in Syria could be considered officially dead as of last week when the last U.S.-backed rebel faction, Har Harakat Hazm, disbanded, its members joining extremist groups such as the Nusra Front and the Al-Qaeda offshoot in the country. Some of the men joined a group called the Levant Front, a coalition of rebel militias that also has ties to Al-Qaeda. And it just goes through, it also, yes, um, according to data to obtained by the International Business Times, the Hazam movement received uh, a total of about $6 million from the U.S. government in 2014, which works out to just $500,000 uh, a month for a force consisting of 5,000 soldiers. According to Abu Sayyid, blah, 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 40% of Hassan's budgets went to weapons. The point is, we're funding these people. And they they're not moderates. We're funding jihadist groups in Syria. We're funding jihadist groups in Syria to, to fucking kill children. But the U.S. the U.S. cares about whatever the fuck just happened in Syria and it just had to intervene? How do you not understand the the motives behind this? You just, you, eyes wide shut, you have to try to not understand. I, I just, and this, uh, I don't, salt, bitter, bitter man, <laughs> but I mean, it just, it just kind of sucks and I'm not, ah, uh, ah, uh, I was annoyed to, uh, to see because when I first started this video I posted it to a few more places it had like two likes compared to like 14 and no retweets and I just thought that is absurd because I, I spent so much time on it and it's so thorough and I go on to by the way not just not just point out the hypocrisy which is anyone can do that's you know 
that simple. Um, and also, by the way, and before anyone says, but there is no direct evidence the U.S. funded whatever group conducted that bombing, take a look at this and tell me if you trust the U.S. to fund the right groups. This is in 2016. In Syria, militias armed by the Pentagon fight those armed by the CIA. Uh, yeah, not only do I point out this hypocrisy, I also point out the ample evidence for the ulterior motive. Uh, need more evidence? This is purely cynical. Hillary Clinton, Hillary Clinton brief on Syria from Clinton emails, date is 2012, not 2001, an error by the U.S. State Department, which lays out, yes, a quote, quote, the best way to help Israel deal with Iran's growing nuclear cap capability is to help the people of Syria overthrow the regime of Bashar al-Assad. I have to smile or I'm going to cry. I, I'm sorry. What Israeli military leaders really worry about but cannot talk about is losing their nuclear monopoly. Then I post a YouTube video of Kerry, Arab countries willing to pay for U.S. to attack Syria. This is what... How many years ago? I think that was like seven years ago. Um, the who's threatening who? U.S. US bases surrounding Iran. Just it, They're totally surrounded. Iran is totally surrounded by U.S. military bases. Of course, gave uh, credit to Jimmy Dore, everybody's favorite grifter. I don't say that in a uh, in any sort of negative sense. Make your money, smoke your weed. I love you, Jimmy Dore. <laughs> Good going, brother. Thank you. No, seriously, I, I credit him. And you you made it. I I spent five hours. I would have had to have spent twenty four. Like I I can't I I can't be any more clear. Thank you, thank you, Jimmy Dore. And it's bullshit that people that people don't give you uh the credit you deserve it's fucking bullshit but um yeah i gave him credit and um oh yeah i can't forget this gem ask yourself how close is the u.s to achieving this goal speeches that still matter general wesley clark on u.s going to war in seven in seven countries <clears throat> that's a that's a youtube video that doesn't get enough uh doesn't get enough views um, I go on to point out, um, I, this is, like I said, this is just going to be a cope video, and I, I don't want to include this, but I go, out, go on to um, say, of course, funding terrorism is nothing new from the U.S. The book is Operation Gladio by Paul, L, Paul S. Williams, and I include um, the book's text, um, speaking about, quote, Throughout the 1990s, hundreds of Uyghurs were transported. Uyghurs, Uyghurs were transported to Afghanistan by the CIA for training in guerrilla warfare by the Mujahideen. When they returned to Xinjiang, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, they formed the East Turkestan Islamic Movement and came under Katz's expert direction. Graham Fuller, CIA super spy, offered this explanation for radicalizing the Chinese Muslims: the policy of guiding the evolution of Islam and of helping them, Muslims, against our adversaries worked marvelously well in Afghanistan against the Red Army. The same doctrines can still be used to destabilize what remains of Russian power, and especially to counter the Chinese influence in Central Asia. This is from the book Operation Gladio. Again, Paul, Ellis, Paul, Ellis, Paul S. Williams. Um, and then I include, um, I include a letter from like 35 or 50, I, I don't know how many countries. Um, Commending China Xinjiang policy. Um, this is just raw and edited cope, obviously. Um, yeah, and then my my post about it. Check that out. Um, Again, I credited the gray zone for all the work they've done, especially and for all the memes they've created. I suppose that's uh, you can't. It's backwards. <laughs> these materials may have been obtained through hacking yeah and that's the role of uh, the UK by the way never forget that uh, imperialism the blood of uh, imperialism may be uh, spilled mainly by one country but imperialism is a joint venture colonialism is a joint venture um, Britain doesn't send troops to die as much necessarily anymore, but they do run massive propaganda campaigns and massive credit to the Grey Zone, Max Blumenthal, Aaron Mate. Um, seriously, thank you guys.
Oh. <laughs> I suppose this will be the end of the coat video, but I posted this too. <laughs> Um, this will be backwards again, I think. I don't, I'm, I'm so tired, I don't even know anymore. Here. <laughs> I'll read it to you. R Werner von Braun, head of NASA. Walter Halstein, head of EU Commission. Adolf Heisinger, NATO's chief of staff. Kurt Waldheim, secretary general of the United Nations. And that is the end of my post. Oh, it has six likes now. Point is, um, point is we don't, what do we do about this? This is, these are some radical, by U.S. standards, people that we're dealing with here who believe these things. And they're going to continue to believe these things. They believe these things in far greater number. I just don't understand what the next move is. I don't understand what we can do. And, and the sense of screaming into the void is really powerful. I mean, you feel it. You feel it. <laughs> it stares back. There's no, uh, we, we got to start doing things radically different. We have to start thinking radically differently. Just in thinking in totally different terms, because if this is where we are at this stage of history in these times, I, you have to understand we're a danger to the world. The, the, the United States is by far and away um, the largest military force human, humans have ever seen. And our refusal to deal with political matters in a serious way, regardless of whether or not you could say it is our fault, it's going to cost people lives. It's already cost people countless lives. But it's, it's kind of different because I feel like we were at a critical stage in history. And, um, and things can go bad. If you don't see that things can go bad, you're not paying attention. Ignorance is bliss. I'm getting off of Twitter for, for the day. <laughs> See ya.